Have you ever wondered what the Earth was like when it was one supercontinent? Welcome to a journey back in time, roughly 300 million years ago, when the land masses we know today were part of a single entity called Pangaea. The Earth's crust isn't a single solid shell but rather a jigsaw puzzle of large pieces known as tectonic plates. These plates, ever so subtly, move and shift over the molten mantle beneath. It was this slow dance of tectonic plates that, over countless millennia, coalesced the world's land masses into one giant supercontinent. Picture a world where every continent is within walking distance, where the Atlantic Ocean is yet to be born, and where the vast expanse of land stretches as far as the eye can see. This was Earth during the reign of Pangaea, a time of unique geology and diverse ecosystems. The birth of Pangaea was a significant event in Earth's history, setting the stage for an era of unique geology and biodiversity. Imagine a world where land stretches as far as the eye can see, with immense oceans surrounding it. This was the world of Pangaea, a supercontinent that once held all of Earth's landmasses in a singular embrace. Pangaea's geography was as diverse as it was vast. Imagine towering mountain ranges, the skeletal remains of ancient Earth collisions, their snow-capped peaks piercing the sky. Then imagine miles upon miles of flatlands and plateaus, stretching out like an endless tapestry of earth and stone. Yet the heart of Pangaea was a different story. It was dominated by an immense desert, a sea of sand and rock that seemed to swallow up the horizon. The interior of Pangaea was so vast, so expansive, that rain clouds from the surrounding Panthalassa Ocean could not reach it, creating a dry, inhospitable landscape, a testament to the harshness of Pangaea's climate. But even in this harsh climate, life found a way to thrive. The edges of Pangaea, where the supercontinent kissed the single all-encompassing ocean, Panthalassa, were teeming with life. Primitive plants, their roots clinging to the fertile soil, lined the coastlines, their leaves whispering secrets in the wind. And then, there were the early dinosaurs, the pioneering giants of the Mesozoic era. From the nimble Coelophysis, darting between the shadows, to the majestic Platyosaurus, a lumbering giant that shook the earth with each step. These creatures were the first to lay claim to the world of Pangaea, to etch their stories into the fossil record. But Pangaea was not just a cradle of life, it was a crucible, a place of trials and transformations. The creatures that survived here were shaped by the harsh conditions, molded by the relentless sun and the unyielding earth. They were the pioneers, the trailblazers, the first to chart a course through the annals of Earth's history. It was a world unlike any we know today, a testament to the ever-changing nature of our planet. This was Pangaea, a world of extremes, a world of wonders, a world that despite its trials and tribulations gave birth to the life we know today. But, as we know, nothing lasts forever, not even the mighty Pangaea. The story of Pangaea doesn't end with its formation. In fact, the most captivating chapter of this tale is arguably its demise. The breakup of Pangaea, the supercontinent that once held all of Earth's landmass, is a testament to the incredible power of the geological forces that shape our planet. This process began roughly 200 million years ago, and it was driven by the very same forces that brought Pangaea together in the first place, plate tectonics. Now, plate tectonics is a fascinating concept. Our Earth's crust, the surface we live on, is not one rigid solid shell, but rather a patchwork of giant plates. These plates, some carrying continents, others oceans, float atop the Earth's semi-fluid mantle. They're constantly moving, albeit at a pace slower than the growth of your fingernails, driven by the heat deep within the Earth. Over hundreds of millions of years, these plates collide, separate, and slide past each other, reshaping the face of our planet. As the mantle underneath Pangaea heated up, it caused the supercontinent to crack, splitting it into fragments. These fragments, carried by the drifting tectonic plates, slowly but surely, began to move apart. As Pangaea fractured, the Atlantic Ocean was born. A rift developed, stretching from the Arctic to the Antarctic. This rift filled with water, creating a sea that would eventually grow into the vast Atlantic Ocean we know today. Meanwhile, the fragments of Pangaea continued to drift, colliding and fusing, breaking apart and reforming over and over again. This grand dance of the continents gave birth to the modern layout of Earth's landmasses, 
the familiar jigsaw of continents that we see on maps today. The breakup of Pangaea was a slow and dramatic process, reshaping the face of the earth and setting the stage for the world we know today. The remnants of Pangaea are all around us, etched in the geology of our continents. These silent witnesses of a bygone era whispered tales of a time when the earth was a different place, a time when all the lands were one. The evidence for Pangaea is compelling and it's not just in the shape of the continents, it's in the very rocks beneath our feet. Matching geological formations on different continents tell a story of a time when those continents were joined. In South America and Africa, for instance, we find identical layers of rock laid down at the same time in the same environment a clear sign that these two continents were once part of the same landmass. Fossil evidence, too, points to Pangaea. Certain fossils, like those of the early dinosaur Lystrosaurus, are found across several continents, including Africa, Antarctica, and Asia. This wide distribution of fossils wouldn't be possible if these continents had always been separate. The simplest explanation is that they were all once part of Pangaea. But the legacy of Pangaea is not just in the past. It continues to shape the present and will influence the future. The breakup of Pangaea has played a fundamental role in the evolution of life on Earth. As the continents drifted apart, life on those continents began to evolve separately. This has led to the rich biodiversity we see today with different species adapted to different environments. The breakup of Pangaea also created new habitats and triggered dramatic changes in climate, both of which have driven evolution in new and unexpected directions. The formation of the Atlantic Ocean, for instance, made possible the Gulf Stream, which warms Western Europe, making it more habitable for a diverse array of life forms. Pangaea may be gone, but its legacy lives on in the rocks beneath our feet and the life all around us. From the towering mountains to the smallest microbe, everything bears the imprint of Pangaea, a testament to the ever-changing, ever-evolving nature of our planet. We've traveled back in time to the era of Pangaea, but what about the future of our continents? As we journey forward from Pangaea, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of the future, where the continents as we know them may once again transform dramatically. The Earth's continents are anything but static. Driven by the relentless forces of plate tectonics, they drift, collide, and fracture, reshaping the world map over millions of years. But where are they headed next? Several theories envision the future of our continents. One such theory, known as Pangaea Proxima, proposes that the Atlantic Ocean will gradually widen while the Pacific Ocean narrows, eventually leading to a new supercontinent in about 250 million years. Imagine, if you will, a future where New York City and Casablanca are next-door neighbors. Another theory, dubbed Amasia, suggests a different path. It posits that the North Pole will become the epicenter of a new supercontinent, as the Americas, Eurasia, and Africa converge over the next 100 million years. A world where Santa Claus might find himself with a lot more neighbors than just a few polar bears. Our understanding of Pangaea plays a crucial role in these predictions. By studying how this ancient landmass broke apart and how the continents have moved since, geologists can make educated guesses about where they're headed. It's a bit like trying to predict the path of a billiard ball after the break. The initial conditions and forces at play can tell us a lot about where things might end up. However, these are just theories. The future of Earth's continents is as unpredictable as it is fascinating, with countless variables at play. What remains certain is that the dynamic nature of our planet ensures that change is the only constant. Just as Pangaea shaped the past, the movement of continents will continue to shape the future in ways we can only begin to imagine. The story of Pangaea is a journey through time from the birth of a supercontinent to its dramatic breakup. We've traveled through the eons, witnessing the inception of this massive landmass born from the restless movement of Earth's tectonic plates. We've strolled through the landscapes of Pangaea where the diversity of life flourished in a realm unlike any we know today. We've endured the heart-wrenching disintegration of this colossal continent, shattered into the familiar fragments that now dot our global map. And we've contemplated the legacy of Pangaea, imprinted in the geological and biological records that continue to shape our understanding of Earth's history. This journey has not only reminded us of the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our planet, but also the interconnectedness of all life within it. So the next time you look at a map of the world, remember the story of Pangaea and the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our planet.